All right, guys, so we are going to be taking on the Battle of the Strongest event with my Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. Now, I know you guys have probably already seen this many times because I saw a whole bunch of videos go up as soon as this event came out. Oh, look at my Goku team and how, the, how fast they take it on. Well, okay, sure. Yeah, I know you guys have seen it, but I do have two things that maybe you haven't seen before. I, maybe you have, who knows? I have my Super Saiyan 4 Goku 100% in the dupe system, as you see the rainbow right there, and my Super Gogeta 100% in the, in the dupe system. I am also bringing this Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku Heartfelt Transformation. I forgot what he was actually from. I don't know if he was a gift or not. Uh, that's this guy over here. He's the one with the whiskey. Uh, he is actually better than the father-son Kamehameha, or yeah, the, the, the family Kamehameha, Goku, just because he does attack plus 7,000, as opposed to the attack plus 5,000. Um, I have some dupe system fed into the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's at a crit of 11 and double attack of 3. I'm just missing a couple crits on him. I need to actually get him up in, uh, in terms of super attack level. He's at super attack 4. I have two that I'm going to need to feed into him at some point, and then I'm probably going to just Elder Kai the rest of him. My Gohan, no dupe system, but he is at super attack 10. So I did that with the dupe system on him, and then I just have the trunks here for his passive, a strength type attack, and defense plus 25%. And I have a friend, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, with level 20 crit and 5 double attacks. I'm um, bringing the Dende, the Nouncer, Balma, and Yemma. The reason why you can't bring Icarus or Senju Beans is because during the Battle of the Strongest event, they did not have either. Well, at least Icarus was, I think Icarus died or something like that. But um, regardless, they didn't have Senju Beans. I think they had like one left, and they, they lost it. So anyway, we're going to go into this event right now, see how fast we can take it on, and we're just going to do a quick playthrough on how the hell to beat the event. So the event has a lot of actual levels in it, and the pain in the ass is the agility Korra. Uh, Korra goes through essentially every different version of himself in the game, um, so that's why it's a little bit more of a pain. But we're just going to go ahead and go the key route, just because it makes things easier. Look at that, my Goku just got a uh, essentially instant super attack, especially when he's paired with his Super Saiyan 3 counterpart. So that's going to be freaking awesome. I just kind of hope that... Uh, my Goku is the one on the second rotation with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And I hope that Super Saiyan 3 Goku doesn't transform. That's a pain in the ass. Um, Alright, cool. Two. So, oh, yep, now he's definitely super attacking every single time. Doesn't it suck, though, when you get, like, when you know you have key plus six and then one guy just keeps on getting additional freaking key? And you're just like, bro, stop. You're already, you're already supering. You don't need any more. Unless it's, like, an LR, but... <laughs> um, Alright, cool. So we go up against Thouser, um, and we're going to go take him. I think Naze and Dore, I believe their names are. Thouser, I think, I know he has a secondary name, depending on the translation. Um, so let's go ahead over here and take this on. I know that one of these guys is in Doku. Actually, no, not all these guys are perfectly fine for what they're doing. Um, so we're going to go put Super Saiyan 4 Goku in the middle, just because... Okay, that's my Goku, that kind of sucks. Uh, so we're putting him there, and we're going to do this, and then we're going to go ahead and super attack here. So let me just tell you guys something real quick. Um, I recorded my first summoning video as soon as I woke up in the morning. I lost the audio because my computer crashed. I know it sucks, I need a new computer system. Um, but my computer crashed. So because my computer crashed, I couldn't get that one up. And I was so impatient that I ended up doing all of my summons off camera at like my job. <laughs> uh, I did a whole bunch on lunch break, a whole did a whole bunch before I went to work. I did a whole bunch actually when I was stuck in traffic on my way into work. So I, uh, I pretty much just summoned until I got him, and I ended up dropping a thousand so stones. I actually only needed to drop, um, like, 950 stones. I just did an extra one, just maybe in case I can get a duplicate. So I, I did get Korra, and that's what we are working on right now. We're working on getting the medals for him. So that's a thing. I know, I heard, saw so many of you guys who actually just went in. Uh, you did your summons, and you got him within the first two or three. Actually, my coworker, that bastard Chris... He is, uh, he just came up to me with a big grin on his face, big shit-eating grin on his face, and was like, hey, it only took me, look at that, he countered, uh, it only took me three singles this time to get the banner card. I'm like, you S-O-B, I hate you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, um, I did get him, and I know Korra was the only, uh, 120 villain lead that I actually wanted, and I do have my full power freeze at 100%. So once I get enough medals, which is probably going to be in a day or two, maybe tomorrow, who knows? I don't know how many medals I actually have right now. Once I get the medals, I will be doing a full showcase on my um, full power Frieza at 100%. Right now, on the Korra team, I did run him once just to see how the event would run, and I did need, um, I used like all my Dendes and everything. But uh, essentially, my full power Frieza with crit, guys, uh, on a character, on the intelligence one, actually, he hit for over 3 million damage. Obviously, he had type advantage, but crit usually ignores that. But, dude, this dude is hitting like crazy. 
Um, granted, he did have the buff from, I believe it was either Super Boo or Kid Boo. He did have that buff. So, and he was linked with Korra, who's his best linking buddy. But yo, he's actually doing, he's out damaging my Korra. That's how insane he is. Now, I got my full free dupe system of the Korra unlocked. So that's cool. So I have that going for me. And you know, we're going to leave him on the end right now. Uh, just because I want him to go with my, my Goku. Because my Goku base, base my Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. <gasps> oh, excuse me. He hits for... 2.1 million damage before that super attack actually gets to the opponent. So if you don't know what that means, essentially you have your multiplier and everything, and then, then before the damage is calculated to the opponent, it's at 2.1 million. See how he's at 2 million right now? Yeah, it's it's more intense than that. It's insane. So I'm, I'm super hyped about that. Oh yeah, 1 million damage to Thouser, and now we're going to go into the agility core. Now this is the one that's a pain in the ass if you're running the um, uh, a, a full strength team, a full mono strength team. So what essentially I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the Super Saiyan 4 there, and I'm going to go ahead and pop a Yemma, because Yemma, we're going to reduce damage for 50%. This is the one stage that I'm actually going to do that for, and then this is the stage that I also throw a Balma on. It increases attack and defense of all allies for 30 for three turns. And as you see here now, the defense of Goku is 59,000, and the other one is at 52,000, or close to 53. Um, and my Gogeta is a little bit higher, too. I think he's at 40-something. So that definitely ma makes a good benefit right there. You know what we're going to do, too? Just because we have the Gogeta there who ignores types, we are going to go ahead and use the announcer to give myself an additional 30, so it's an additional 50% on top of that. So that's pretty freaking wicked. Um, and we're going to go over here, and we should be good. I don't think, unless he, if he crits, then I should definitely be good. Um, it, he's doing a base of 1 million, so that's cool. And then once he gets a type advantage, he should be going a little bit higher. 1.2 million, all right. Now also, oh, look at that, double crit, double attack. Too bad the second one's in a super. Now, the only thing that sucks about it is because Korra technically has the type advantage and he has the special advantage because only Super Saiyan Goku's could do a lot of damage. Now, I didn't do a full video on that, so I'm probably going to be doing a video on the best Goku's to bring. Um, the top two, it really depends on the team you're bringing. If you don't have a Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, I believe there's no really, there's not actually a good Super Saiyan agility Goku. So if you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Goku to run this guy with, the next best one is going to be the um, LR Goku, for, for real. Um, he is going to be your best bet in terms of who to run. Uh, look at that. Okay, so we did that. So we're going to go pop a Dende just to go ahead and get us full health. Uh, we still have that attack bonus that's going on, and we should be good. Uh, so when my Goku critted him before Korra, he got him down to like... Actually, I think he critted him with one shot, and he one-shotted him. <laughs> uh, he, he is a physical type, so, I mean, you know, there's really nothing you do about that. We're going to find out right now and see how my Super Saiyan 4 friend Goku does without any buffs. Well, I guess he has a 25% uh, percent buff, but nothing too crazy. He doesn't have any of it, all of his links uh, hit off. But, yeah, two points something. Look at that. Nice. All right, so we should be able to finish off with my Goku. I really hope he gets the crit. So that way we can see how much damage he actually does. He's going to do a lot too. He usually does about, yeah, 800,000. Oh, never mind. He killed him. All right. So this is a little bit of a longer match, guys, just because I didn't get the crits on the agility one like I wanted to. But I did finish the agility one off in one round. So there's that. I got a nice little benefit there. But overall, that is the event. Pretty simple. I will be doing, like I said, a showcase of the full power Frieza. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Um... I will be doing that showcase as soon as I get my uh, Korra Doken Awakened, and as soon as he's Doken Awakened, I will, well, I'll, tomorrow I'll probably be also dropping a video of what Super Saiyan Goku to bring to this event. There are like three that I have in mind, but there might be another one. There's a whole list of Super Saiyan Gokus in-game. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I will catch you guys later.